All right, let's talk to the experts. If you have high blood pressure, diabetes, insomnia, or weight gain, you may have a deficiency in magnesium. All big issues, and according to the National Institute of Health, over 70% of Americans are deficient in magnesium, with the greatest deficiency seen among African Americans. So we have registered dietitian Lori Meyer here. She's with us this afternoon. So why are we so deficient in magnesium? You know, there's a lot of reasons, but the big reason is our diet. We eat a lot of processed foods, and processed foods just don't have a lot of magnesium. It's mm -hmm. all been taken out. But there's other reasons, and I was telling you, a big one is stress. Mm -hmm. And the more stress that you have, the more magnesium is depleted. Your body just uses a lot of magnesium. There's none of that in this building, so you're good. <laughs> not, not too much anywhere, <laughs> right? What, what and, cer and certain medications will, will deplete it, and chronic illness can. Magnesium is so important, and yet we don't pay enough attention we don't. to it. It's in, involved in over 300 different uh, organ uh, systems in the body. Uh -huh. mm. Every organ seems to depend on magnesium. In order for you to digest food and absorb nutrients, you need magnesium. The heart has to have magnesium to function, and they find every type of heart disease has a magnesium association. You can't make insulin if you don't have magnesium. So it's such an important mineral. But I don't think doctors are talking about it when you go in for your mm -hmm. annual physical. It's not, it's not always, something you get checked it's on the blood It's not always panel, included. Right? No, it's not always included. Yeah. And if you suspect that you are magnesium deficient, you might want to go in and get checked or at least start doing something proactively. I put together a list, since no, not, not many people are getting checked. Here's the so list. we can kind of take a look at what some of these symptoms are. Hmm. So leg or foot cramps. Well, we get those quite a bit. Muscle mm -hmm. twitches and spasms, restless legs, palpitations can all be symptoms. Trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, sensitivity to loud noises, ringing in the ears. It's if you're doing a lot of sighing, hmm. well, sighing <laughs> also kind of irritability, releases yeah. um, my, but maybe that's the stress, you know? Right. Migraine, headaches, kidney stones, weight gain, constipation. So well, my, a lot my say, if you have four of these, yep. you really have a magnesium deficiency already. If you have just a couple of them, you want to start looking at magnesium in your diet. So tell us how can we get more magnesium well, in our diet? Well, it's unprocessed foods. Okay. So a lot, of, a lot of the greens, whole mm -hmm. grains, beans, nuts and seeds are the, are the way to go. So I have just a couple of examples. I have a spinach salad or a lettuce salad. The spinach salad, 75 milligrams of magnesium. The lettuce, only four milligrams this of right magnesium. Here, the That's the lettuce. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here I have greens, kale, kale. Or, or chard versus cucumbers. Again, 75 milligrams in the kale or the chard, mm -hmm. only four in the cucumbers. I have broccoli and carrot. You get about 50, 51 in the broccoli, only about four in the carrot. Cooked or so uncooked? It, it doesn't matter. Doesn't okay. matter. Doesn't okay. matter. You don't lose Here I have an omelet, and for breakfast, instead of having a donut for breakfast, have an omelet, put some greens in the omelet, <laughs> because you're getting 75 milligrams right there. Right. The donut, you, you know, you're getting maybe 11. Uh, if, if. You ha if, if, well, it depends on how big your donut is. Right. This is true. Uh, here I have quinoa. This is a red quinoa or rice. Quinoa, the, one of the grains with the highest amount of magnesium. Oh, okay. You get about almost 60 milligrams in, in that, and the rice you're getting, you know, maybe seven. I think a lot of it has to do with introducing these ideas into people's diet yeah. and, and, and yeah. finding great well, ways to cook them. Finding ways to cook them, but making it m more of your, your regular diet, mm -hmm. more of your habit. Right. Here I have white bread, not yeah. much. Banana, the highest magnesium oh, fruit I is I banana. Like bananas. Apples aren't bad, but okay. bananas, great. Chocolate, four four times chocolate? as much. Dark chocolate, 35, oh, none in always other candy. Always a good candy. reason to eat <laughs> And then chocolate. Uh, your nuts over yeah. a pretzel is going to be a better way to go. Always good okay. to know. Thank you for that. Got a question for our experts. Email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail right there. The number's on the screen.